Hi. Hello. It's Karen. And Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch. And welcome to another live show where we are going to be creating a whole bunch of cards today. I have 13 cards all using the same stamp it's, design. It's, it's, it's Starbucks. Star Starbucks. Day. Can oh. I take your order, please? Okay. <laughs> yeah, he wishes he could. <laughs> We'd like to be out there on the road meeting more of us. So um, hopefully you have your things together um, and we are going to create together. But of course, first, we've got mail. mail. <laughs> so we, we do. will start with that. Nancy Moncom. Hello. Hello, people coming on, which is wonderful. It's Oh, Nancy Moncom. Oh, fun. Oh. St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Day, yesterday. Day. What did you guys do for St. Patrick's Day? And who here sent out St. Patrick's Day cards? I did not, but look at, we got one. How cool is that? I know I heard from a couple of you that send for every single holiday. So you do like St. Patrick's. And I know someone had said that they send, I don't know if it was 24 or 36 or whatever to an assisted living program. So they send to everybody in there every holiday. I thought that is so awesome. Look at that. There's a luck. The, the, uh, the um, horseshoe is with the the thing up, so the luck does not run out. And the inside, perfect. <laughs> Next card is from Janet Frederick. Oh, cute! Oh, look at that! Oh, Another I had no idea Patrick. because I don't look at cards ahead, so no, I had no doesn't. idea we have all these St. Patrick's Day. How cute is this? This is um. A bridge card, so it stands up, but notice it lays flat. And so flat, it's still the regular size to fit an envelope. And yeah. how adorable when it they sets up. Lights. Isn't that, oh, and the, that cute little kangaroo, that is just adorable. And if you look at this card idea, this is so cute. You could do this very same card and do every single holiday. <laughs> Isn't that just hilarious? I love that. That is so fun. And Janet, I need to apologize. <laughs> Because you have a two-leaf clover up here, but I don't think you sent it as a two-leaf clover. Oh, <laughs> I think we lost one. Okay, I lost. It. I'm the one that opens the mail. And you know what I do? I use a a um, envelope. I, I use a, a knife, actually, to open these up. And so I probably cut it off. Mary Ellen is laughing at uh, my saying, got, got your things together. So, but I hope you did. So I, I hope that means you got them together. So let's see. We'll see how many of you did. How many of you are ready to craft today? But you know what? It takes a while. So you can just grab some cardstock and designer series paper or pattern paper of any kind and cut your paper as we go along. Oh, Tim, there's for you coffee cups. Is oh, that cute? That Doris funny. Lucas from Minnesota. Oh, Janet was from Idaho. Um, Nancy was from Minnesota. Uh, I'll read the cards later, but I thought that is so fun. That is such a fun card. And look at that. <laughs> oh, I, and you know, I love what she said. This is hilarious. She said, just had to send a, quote, fun card. It was fun to make. Not professional, but, quote, good enough. Good enough. Oh, because that's what I, that's that just, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a darling card. <laughs> Life happens. What does it say? Life happens. Coffee helps. Okay. Oh, uh, Tim, this is just perfect with your Starbucks. I did. I just know. Look at the. Look at how fun that is. <laughs> oh, and it's so, so good to see so many of you on here live today. Welcome, Teresa Courtney. And oh, look at these fun. Look how she's got these, um, you know, die cut elements. You could use punches or die cuts on this. Green leaves. And this vase looks looks like, I have no idea what this was, but what, what I love about this this could be, this is, this is an awesome idea. You could make this background, but you could also, you know, when you've got like assorted cards and you get cards and they just have, you know, pretty backgrounds like that. Look at this, how to personalize it by adding either punches or dies. And look at this has been sponge. So it's green. And then your words on top and you suddenly have a beautiful layered card. What a fun idea. Teresa is from Iowa. Iowa. I have to remember these things. Next, we have Mary Fogarty from Florida. Oh, one of my favorite papers from Celebration, the Berry Blessings. Oh, how cute is that? And she's got a little punch there. And, and a little thank you. you card. Oh, oh, and I love how she put a little punch in the inside too. Oh, I love it. I and just might have been a check in there. Another one where, no, I don't think so. This is a, just a lovely thank you. Oh. Um, from the, but, the, the, from the villages. But I think um, 
you know, another kind of card that's just classic where the your paper, your pattern paper just shows the, does all the work. And here is one from Pat Nagy in Missouri. She created her own background paper and she, and uh, I was just looking at the note and it said that she did this all over an eight and a half by 11 and then cut them apart and got a whole bunch of cards out of it. So isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. So you can create your own paper. That's what I need to have you do sometime, Tim. Mm -hmm. You see how just that's just scattered all over and Those then all just creating your own. Stamped. Yep. And that way you can pick your own colors for what yeah. you want. Oh, and notice the ribbon. You know, by the way, we're having a ribbon class was changed. It's going to be not this, not tomorrow, but the next weekend. So there's still time to join. Did she dye that? I believe she did. I because, believe she dyed it. And yeah. we have the two colors coming in from two sides. And look at, yeah, the white at the end. Yeah, that is awesome. Now. Love that. What a fun idea. Next we have... Uh, Bridget Worthington from Vermont. Ooh, fun. Let me use those. Oh, and another one where the paper, I'm glad we were talking about this, where the paper does the work. Isn't that cool? This is the ornate garden or whatever the DSP that goes with that. And look how she's just got her, her accent there, a ribbon under it, an accent there. And it's just a lovely card. Oh, and people are saying, oh, you love seeing, yes, just... Everybody's cards. It's Vermont. So okay. And the it's next one state. is from Susie, who lives just a couple blocks from us. Oh, and I love it. Look at, she's got tons of buttons on her Easter card. Happy quarantine Easter. <laughs> and she has all kinds of buttons on the Easter egg. How fun is that? Susie, Bright and colorful. Susie said she loves buttons. We do too. That's great. And then she has written out kind of a poem there on colored paper and put it in. And I thought that is really cool. Thank you. Very fun. Up. Oh, and she adds, she said she always likes to add a pickup for Tim. So <laughs> that's, that is hilarious. I love it. <laughs> Patricia Seifert from New York. Oh my goodness. We are from all over. And another one, look at the pretty paper cards. How fun is this? We've got this paper and then a little trim of the other. St. Oh, Patrick's. I think it's St. Patrick's. Yeah, look at that. What was your clue? <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, how sweet is that? And she's saying she's thankful to be part of my team. Oh, I am so grateful to have you too. I said that is so, so wonderful. That is just very sweet. Linda Balsic from New York. Oh, does this speak spring? The tulips. Mm. This is the tulip paper and we also have a tulip punch. And look at that. Oh my goodness. Love to have a whole bundle of that. Isn't that just fun? That cool, huh? And they're all just layered. It changes colors and goes back and That forth. is very cool. Love that idea. Very nice. Just uh, a wonderful, wonderful book. Hey. From Luba. I love just seeing the cards you guys send in. I said, we are just so, so fortunate. Another one from Pat Nagy. And this was to me. Was the other one to you, Tim? Did Must I mess up? Okay. It was. Must have been. Okay. Show me your Irish dance. Oh, look at the Irish monkey. Monkey. Okay. It's <laughs> donkey. Oh, dear. We need a vacation. I, I am maybe just. Maybe we should really... take a month off and go to Florida or something. <laughs> Do you, do you know what's funny? I had um, oh, one of you guys, you might be on here. I just, the, the name slips me because you know, names always disappeared. Um, told me, it's right at the tip of my tongue. And we we actually just met with you. So this is really sad. But she said, Karen, I opened my celebration stuff and my donkeys were speaking French. <laughs> she ordered a French set by mistake. <laughs> so, but I just thought that was the best way of saying it. She actually decided to keep hers in French because she thought it would be a good story in and of itself. I agree. Uh, and I know so somebody else had done the same. They told me, I said, I can send you a new one. I have another Sophia things ever mess up, but that is so funny. But I love that. So now this is a, you know, so that's like the French speaking donkey. That's why I mentioned this. And this is the Irish dancing yes, donkey. Yes. So these donkeys are very, very clever. Donkeys. There's something else significant about this. What state is she from? She's from Nashville, the one that we met with. But oh no, this one is from St. Louis, Missouri. Missouri. Yes. What's significant what's, about what's, what's what's Missouri? Um the show me state. Oh, see, I did not get that. Okay, Pat, that's all on all kinds of levels. I think this card needed to go to Tim because he really got it. <laughs> the show me state. Oh, I did not. I did not even. Oh, it's. 
<laughs> Did you know that because you read this, Tim, early? No, I know the show me said. Oh, okay. I, I was going to say, like, Tim does open things early, I but I don't read, think he reads. I don't read he, cards, doesn't, so. he doesn't read the cards and he doesn't read the handwriting really at all but that is oh, that is too funny <laughs> i would have guessed you did that that is hilarious okay well we had good laughs about that one. <laughs> oh, that is great linda hess from illinois oh and another just darling little card and look again the paper another paper and then your words and this is that smaller size you know we sell the cards in envelopes the smaller size they go through the mail just fine and they're just cute I think that is just a great card. Joanne got her vaccine shot on St. Patrick's Day. Well, then that's one to remember. <laughs> and, and I guess that qualifies as something fun. It turned her green. Oh, Natalie Travis. Oh, Natalie is a demonstrator. And we were, and you know what? She missed, I, sorry, I just got to show this. This, told you, this would have typically gone on Monday because this was part of a card swap. I've known Natalie's. Natalie for years and she missed the card swap. So she sent us all individual cards. And I just realized that now in doing it when you know, I've been showing all these butterfly cards. So this one's from California. I've been showing all these butterfly cards on Monday night. Oh, this is gorgeous. And I want you to see how she has embedded these, but not cut them out. You do that with a much lighter thing. Another technique you can do with your dies. And doesn't that make a gorgeous background? Now, if you haven't already gotten this, you know, the My Card Kit of the Month, when you place an order, does use the dies. This is one of the cards. And this gorgeous paper is already sold out. It was while supplies are last, but you'll still get enough to make these cards in here. But all the rest of the suite is there. And look at all the other amazing things you can do. I think that's just really beautiful. Chantilly lace. Look at that right down there. Yep. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That, that's really a nice. I'm um, not sure what Chantilly yeah. lace is, but I'm sure so, so, so I'm sure someone here will know. <laughs> but can, you can't see it that well. Okay, okay so you're gonna. <laughs> you still can't. But anyway, you know what I mean. And the last one is Kim Crane, and I will say Tim did bring this in because he because he opens things. He said, "Karen, look yes. what I got. More donkeys. More donkeys." No, more, more Oh, yes, I'm going to go. Moose. <laughs> I think retirement might have my name. No. I'm glad you guys put up with me. More <laughs> moose. I said, that is just hilarious. Of every color, of every, you know, thing. You can do all kinds of things with that. That is absolutely hilarious. And then she put one on here. Yeah. So these are all different colors. And then here's an example of how to use them. How, isn't that fun? That's that just is. a very, that's a very merry moose card. Okay. Do you know what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to make a tower of mooses. I'm just going to keep stacking them up. And then, uh, you know what? You could do that and offset them a little. Yeah. That would actually be a the very cool idea. <laughs> you kind of the see leaning this. tower of mooses. <laughs> that is hilarious. A herd of moose. <laughs> That's what I mean. So that Thank is you, awesome. Kim. So quickly before we get started, just a reminder that the postcode of the month. And you can always find it at KarenTitus.com. Aren't I really organized? This is all cut off so beautifully. But I'm just reading one of the words here today from sentences from Cindy Quincer. Please send daily help ready for awesome projects because that's what we're ready for today. So yes, we love we that. The last time we did, so it was two weeks ago, I think maybe we did these pinwheel cards and oh my goodness. They have been going like pinwheels. <laughs> yes. People have taken this idea and they've done pinwheels of all sizes and little bitty ones, ones that spin around over it in the back porch stampers. So if you haven't joined us over there, you want to do that. It's on Facebook. Just uh, put it in face back porch stampers. That's where you can show your work and you see everyone else's work. And I just realized um, Holly is gone this week and I forgot to draw a name for the winner. Each week we have a challenge. This week it was for an Easter project. So I have to put that up afterwards. I will go in and do that. Um, and the week before it was for doing something with this idea. So I absolutely love that we take a theme or a layout or something, and then you see tons of ideas, not just my ideas. So anyway, I think that's just really fun. <laughs> so I decided Long before, I hadn't done this for years, but a go-to card of mine that I make uh, several times a year 
is this. This is what I'm calling kind of your basic pinwheel. And it looks like also kind of a quilt card. And isn't that gorgeous too? And they kind of relate. They both are very springy. So I thought we'll do the same thing, but we will do this in all kinds of different paper. And notice you can put the pinwheel on any way you want. So I'm going to show you the 13 cards at the end. We're going to make a couple first. And you'll just notice I looked for different words for all of them because I just wanted to show they can just be for any occasion. And I don't know if you can tell, but most of mine, it's a soft subtles background. So you stamp your words first and then you go to the soft subtles. And I have said many times that the soft subtles embossing folder is my favorite. My favorite. And you can see, oh, look, and if and I'm missing a paper, it. it's going to be hiding right there. Did you break it? Um, it's broken. It's broken? Yeah. Is, well, is okay? Can I blame you? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It, it broke. And what I think... And my, I actually heard it break. He said, what was that? <laughs> it was a big said, crack. It was a big crack. Yeah. But you know what I wanted to say about it? Oh, he, that Tim thing? is destroying came from there but he's destroying my cards as we speak but just like that clover that didn't make it here now he's doing it to mine i think he's on he's on a roll um destruction and this is what i wanted to say about this was you know how sometimes and i will do this i will buy something and never use it <laughs> is anyone here guilty of that or is it only me <laughs> and uh you know it's I don't feel bad at all about buying another one of these because if you knew how many cards I have made, I mean, it's got to be hundreds and hundreds. So, I, you know, I, I don't feel bad at all that it broke. I got my money's worth out of this is what I want to say. I said, what an awesome deal. <laughs> so I just had to say that. And actually, I could finish my cards today because this one in particular they didn't. Fi I fixed it. Okay. Didn't have to line up too carefully. I could still, you know, I could tape it and put it together, but I'm going to buy a new one. So, <laughs> but I, think, I just had I to share that because I think it's just pretty fun. So, first, okay, Donna says moose are solitary animals, so no herd except baby stays with mama for 18 months. Oh my goodness, that's Ooh. so interesting. Uh, so they really are. So they just, and other than that, they're totally independent. So, that's interesting. That's why the plural isn't mice. Or meese. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> there isn't. Okay. There's only singular. Okay. okay. So the backgrounds, uh, on a couple of these, I changed backgrounds. At first, I was going to do all kinds of different backgrounds. And then I thought, no, you guys can do that over the backboard stampers. I'm leaving that up to you. Uh, so today, we're going to just make these pieces. And I just so they're all kind of put together with this. It's five and a quarter by four inch on a regular card base, which is half a sheet of cardstock, which can be cut either way and folded in half. So some are the long way, some are the short, it's whatever I had. So to do this along, Kathy's raising your hand, buying something and never using it. Do you remember the square lattice embossing folder? I loved it so much. I bought a second one before we retired just in case. <laughs> And then she didn't use it. Oh, that's okay. That is so funny. I think, yeah, I think we have a few tales we can tell. <laughs> that, that is pretty fun. Okay, Tim, you're going to need to watch this because you're yes, going to make I'm one watching. after this. So I figured what we do is we'd make three. I'll make one and then we'll make, each make one together. And then I will show you. It'll she be a little will, parade of all of, be the, done with two of, all of the finished. <laughs> so we have two pieces of two and five eighths inch squares. And we are going to, and I for let's see, oh, let's see, I don't have a, this is where it's really handy, the grid paper that I often work on that uh, staff and I, you know, I use it for all the things, but if you have the grid paper, you'll get this on more perfectly, but you know, what was somebody saying earlier in their card, good, good enough, enough is good enough, <laughs> so I am eyeballing. So that would be fine. And then we are, oh, and Tim brought some gift. I'm so going, I'm he's going to cheat. He's going to make his perfect. Okay. He, he's not. Okay. So I'm going to have four. This is the flowers for all season. All of the designer series paper that I'm using today, will they'll all be retiring. Oh, my look. Oh, dear. I'm missing one. This mm -hmm. is what happens when you bring things out. Uh, no, but that one might have to go, go in a pinch. I can't really. Oh, that is pretty funny. Okay. I'm not going to do that one. No, do it. No, because I can't finish it. 
You can with this. Yeah, but I might need that for this one. Well, this so first I'll do this one. So watch this. This is pinch hitting. Okay. okay. We'll just switch. Um, and here's another tip that I do. You want to use this one? I made. Show me oh, that. yes. Oh, that's really why I messed up, Tim, because I really wanted mine to be perfect like yours. Okay. I'm going to just put this on. I'm going to put it right in the middle here to be really slow about it. And you guys, I did all mine by eyeballing. So I'm just saying this. This is for those of you who are perfectionists. Normally, I just say, uh, if you're a perfectionist, I'm here to help you get over it. But but that cool. is slick. I like it. And it, it is better. I think it'll probably turn out better. <laughs> so, <laughs> say. Okay, so now we're going to take four of each. So what I did, I made 13 cards. And when I cut out, I cut out for two. Now, I do that a lot. So I have 13 more to make. See, this is the missing one. That's why I couldn't use it on the other. And I think it's really fun because when I did a lot of in-home classes, we often made two cards of one design. And I would say one is to share, to give, and one is to keep. Because if you're like me and you like to keep samples of things that you would do again, I like to have a box of those because I love to look at the real things to remember. But it's also by the time you cut out one thing, you might as well cut out you know, a couple. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put my, my adhesive across the tops of these. I'm going to go ahead and do all of them here at one point. So it's just on <laughs> the tops. I know, adhesive. Tim always laughs because we have the struggle with adhesive, you know. It's real. The struggle is real. <laughs> Can't let that adhesive win. Okay. That's why I use Elmer's glue. <laughs> and now look how cool this is. I'm going to put one. I can start in any corner. I'm going to put it up close, close to the corner. Okay. Before mm -hmm. you do it anymore, mm -hmm. where, where's the tape on that? The okay. tape? Okay. Here's my tape. Yep. I'm just picking one side. It doesn't matter. It could go there or there, but it's going on one of these corners. And outside. I'm just going to do the same. It's going on the outside. I'm just going to do this all the way around. And you'll see the pattern. Take, whoop, got to do the right ones alternating. And isn't that cool? You can start seeing how the pattern, and I can kind of tell because it's kind of overlapping. It's meeting right where I want it to in the middle. Now, if you don't like doing five-eighths measurements and you want to do three by three, just leave a bigger gap. You can, you know, ideas are all meant to be played with. Leave a wider gap there so they're going to meet in the middle. That works too. You know, we're all about trying things. So you can watch me do this one, and then we can all do one together. Just the next one, this one. And the only tricky one is, of course, the last one. But this way, they're not glued down so hard that they're too hard to, you know, maneuver around or anything. So see, this all works well. Going all the way around. Okay, and you see, I'm gonna have to tuck in this last one, which is really which is really gonna be easy to do. I'm just gonna fold that up. Now, if you're really on top of it, this could have been done this way, but I'm leaving things really simple and just doing them all the same. Because you know, with card making, a whole lot of things just don't really matter. Good enough is good enough. <laughs> okay, there. Whoops, that one slipped while I was doing it. Oh, I think my whole thing slipped, Tim. What am I going to do? <laughs> it, it just all slipped while I was doing that. But what you do is giving me an excuse for I'm, yeah, not I'm, having mine perfect. That there you go. There you go. It's, it, it's all okay, you guys. I made 13 of these without one single mess up yesterday. Now we get on camera and I can't even get my first one to work. But I'm just gonna adjust them. But and I just, you know, when cards don't turn out, I just put Tim's name on the back. That's right. And I send them out anyway. <laughs> and that's, if, that's if you why, believe that. That's why you never <laughs> see one with my name on it. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. But you're getting the general idea. Okay. Today yeah. we're after the general idea. Oh, this is pretty yeah. hysterical. This is not my day, you guys. Yeah, I think you should just accept that it's not going to be perfect. Okay, Tim. It was too much parting. I told you, we just shouldn't do all that parting for St. Patrick's Day. I know, all that green beer. Yeah, that's right. Your and if you believe that, <laughs> we really have. We do have a daughter who lives in Chicago, though, so. Okay. Okay. 
good enough is good enough. And this one was not good, <laughs> but it might just be enough. But do you see how this comes together? I said, how cool is that? The little squares are one and a quarter. So now we mm -hmm. want you to grab yours are you, are you and then it's just going to go on here. I'm going to put this on and this, but I'm actually going to putz with this and fix it. And I'm going to hope a second one turns out better. Karen, Karen. I, I, I really, Karen, really, I can't live with that. Finish it and put my name on it. <laughs> Tim, Tim would love that. Okay. So Tim picked the one he's going to do. And here are his pieces. And we're going to see if he does any better. And I'm going to try another one here out of this time. I'm He's using the Forever Greenery. And there's your snail. And here's your thing to put together. And I'm using the Whale of a Time. So um, I use 13 different papers just to show that these are just great for any occasions. You could do birthdays, you could do weddings, you could do anything because they can be elegant. Yeah, Mandy said she's forgotten all about the pinwheel technique. Yeah, the, these go back many, many years ago. I think this was one of the, probably one of the very earliest cards I used to do many years ago in classes. So the little squares again are one and a quarter and the big squares are two and five eighths. Now everything is negotiable. This just makes a good size to put on the card. And Tim has an interesting idea because he's putting his tape all over his. Oh, that wasn't supposed to. Uh, it all depends. Okay, so I'm going to eyeball. I only pay attention to He's going to do so that. <laughs> details are not. Okay, and we are going to work in the same frame. So okay, this is hard. This does not, this keeps moving. Okay. That's okay. And now you're going to gently put this down, figure out, to see where you can find the middle points, the middle point on each. <laughs> he thought this looked easier than it was. <laughs> well, there's too much tape tape on this. I'm just going to do it. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Now, if you wanted to be really exacting and you're going to make a bunch of them, what I would do with the grid paper is draw in the, the crossway stripes because then you know exactly where your points are going to go. Does that make sense, Tim? Would you, would you bring that up here a second? got to show this because I think um, it, th this would just be a cool technique. If you're doing a whole bunch, then it's worth... You know, if you're doing one, who cares? If you're doing a bunch, I'm going to pick another paper here because I have I have a whole bunch of these all cut out and ready. This is where I would work this from. And so then I just want the middle part. So the middle part is going to be one, two, three, four, five. See, visually. Okay, there's a middle part. And... I'm having trouble visually here. I'm going to guess that this is the middle part. I may be wrong, but since this is just for show and tell. Do you see if I put these two lines on my paper? But do you get that, Tim? That's beautiful. But then you would put that, and then you would know your second one. Oh. Okay, there is a method here. Then you're not trying to figure out you know, where did that one go. You're just going to put it on, and you're going to line up those points. Okay? I but have I, good enough is good enough. Okay, I'm, I'm back. Mm -hmm. I have a strong connection to perfectionism. <laughs> and, Karen and this bothers you. <laughs> it does. <laughs> That's okay. I wasn't going to use it. <laughs> okay. So next. Okay. So I'm ready to go. Okay. So now you're just going to line up. Turn. Yep. But you're going to figure out which side you want on the front. Oh yes. And then just line up the backs. And I don't think mine matter which way they go. So I'm just going to line mine up like this. And, um, oh, this one, I was going to say, mine just didn't look right. <laughs> I, I don't know. I have no excuses. I'm going to do this so quickly. I'm gonna, you know, <gasps> I just did two sides. Shoot. <laughs> and I'm trying to look for comments, too. So um, who's working along with us now? See, so you, you've got time to create your own before we enjoy the card parade. That's what I like to call them when we just look at a whole bunch of cards. And all these will be on my blog either later today or in the morning. Give me a reason why you can't do both two sides. You know, it really doesn't matter except that it's more to have to peel up if you get to the end. Whoa. <laughs> She's messing with my car. So, you know, there, there. what are the reasons for anything? It really doesn't matter. You can do whatever. I'm, I'm missing one. Did you steal one of mine? No. How can I be missing one? I don't know. Do you know why I'm really missing one? I think it's on purpose. I think there's been this theme, just knowing that I'm not going to get the last one right. <gasps> so no. you screwed up. I, I did the wrong <laughs> side. Okay, this is going to be a unique card because okay. I think 
So even if you try to make all of your cards the same, they might not necessarily all turn out the same. Okay, I do? have gotten oh. to my end, and I do not know what happened to my card. It did fly away because I did have it here. So I just wanted to just show again. I'm going to pretend this is it. The last one is the only one that's the trick, and that's where I messed up. Actually, I didn't have enough glue on mine, and it came unglued. That was really what happened. But you see, I'm going to just slip this in here. I just have to lift that one up just a little bit, and I'm going to slip in my last one, just like that. So how cool is that? Oh, Tim, you're doing well. Now you've got the last one. Somebody said it's easier to see on white background. So is it okay? We'll try that. And you guys can tell us if it is. Is it easier to see on a white background? We can easily take care of that. Are you trying to do this off camera so nobody sees what you do? Okay, is that okay? <laughs> what do you think? It looks well, good. Here's another alternative. Okay. Mix and match. Yes, mix and match. So this would be another way to do it. It is. It yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is. And, and, and you're, you're, you're sticking with that. Okay. I think, see, and then we're just going to put them on the bases. But now we're going to just look at all the cards. <laughs> okay. So, um, yes, Pat says it gives the illusion that you've made all kinds of different cuts in here. Yes, it looks like a very complicated kind of card. It does. And I think, um, well, I think we may have made it more complicated to date than it should be. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, Kathy, oh, yeah, I hope your mom gets better. So her mom fell and broke. So she, but anyway, oh, <laughs> I was blaming you and, and I was correct. How did it end up underneath mine? <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> Together, we don't make a hole today. That's all we can say. Okay. I'm going to do mine the traditional way. Tim can leave his. Okay. I'm going to stick this back in. Here, I'm going to show you how this would be easy to fix. I'm going to actually put this one in a little better. Oh, Tim, we just need to get to showing the cards. I, I don't know why it worked so well when I wasn't caring, you know, yesterday. Okay. So if I put that in, then all I need to do is stick this between. Oh, you know what? I didn't do that. This is wrong. And I'm sticking mine between the wrong one. See, that's that's what it is. So I got to stick it between okay. this one. Okay. Um, if you ever think that. Now, Karen actually had me do this like four times before I went, <laughs> went on camera. No, no, but I did want to say I did this 13 times yesterday. You wouldn't think I would have any trouble today. And I want to show you all the extra ones I've cut. See, when I said I cut two, so I have all these. So, Tim, you could sit with me afterwards I could. I could. and make these. And if you know that, <laughs> oh, Nancy that? Hill even put on here is your extra piece under Tim's card. Oh, that is too funny. Seriously? <laughs> we had to Somebody figure did? that out ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> I know where it went. But so all of these will still be made. And now we're just going to look at a parade of all of these cards. <laughs> so I think these are just. These are the ones that were made off camera. So they're perfect. <laughs> when life was going smoothly. <laughs> so here we have the uh, Rose Art, whatever that was, pretty papers. And it says, you are unique and completely amazing. Thank Tim, you. you're going to notice on this one. I got a little smudge because I had it upside down. I didn't realize. See that little black yeah. ink? And I like typically it. I would redo it and I thought no. it fit this card. It looks kind of antique and unique. it fits that. Yes. You are unique and completely amazing. You know, and you couldn't make this card twice. So mm -hmm. I just decided that was a, you know, that one, that one fit. <laughs> uh Dowling says, after watching, she's gonna see about making your own quilt patterns into reduced patterns for cards. That is an awesome idea. Yes. And you know, a woman on my team is called the chirpy card maker of quilt. Anyway, I can always give you a link to her. She does a new quilt card of the week, every week. And she does amazing, amazing things. So, and I am a quilter too. So I love that idea. And I love that you can take things and, you know, so, and they're just great for all occasions. And just notice the different feel. Then here we've got the, the fun dragonfly paper. And I'm thinking of you. This one, this was one of the first ones I put together when I was thinking I would do something different on the bottom for each one. And then I decided no, but just saying, just do a band or a ribbon. You can decorate this any way. And I have different things in the middle. 
you don't need anything in the middle, especially if your points are perfect, but, but otherwise it's kind of like a quilt square. You could put something in the middle. I could put something so, in the middle of mine. That'd be nice. Yes. And you know, and if, if you see something bigger in the middle, it just might mean that there was a bigger gap in there. <laughs> it's kind of, so, you know, you know, but isn't this, these it's, subtle papers, I think just really add to. I love that. That's so nice. I love the black and white. And we just have a little bit. Congratulations. This could be a wedding card. Those are like the opposites. Yeah. Aren't they? Very pastel-y, very black and white. But I tell, I, I like the black and I like the starkness. And this one says, congratulations. And then this is just a fun, this is with the butterfly paper. And just see how this one's on. I put a lot of them on straight that way. I put a lot of them on intentionally sideways. I think this might have been a little more hidden. I mean, you can put them on any way you want. Because my yeah. words were higher here, it didn't work to do the peak part. So I just made it go sideways. So it was a little flatter. And I just love because, you know, they're kind of in action. And I think that's just really pretty too. You are wonderful. And then, yes, this was one we showed with the, this hydrangea paper. Oh, it's just one of my favorites. Here is with the fun playing with patterns paper. So more of a, a just kind of a fun card. You know, it's not florally or anything. And here we're back to more tradi traditional with the ornate garden. Wishing you the very best. This one was a thank you. I was forgetting to say that, but I just love all these different sayings. And it just kind of gives you the whale one that I did would be perfect for kids or a birthday too. Now, where is my, um? am, am I missing? A I seem to be missing a couple. Do you have a couple of missing here? I love, this is the blue and white paper from the beginning of the catalog. I don't remember what it's called, but it's all blue and white and it's perfect. If you like making quilt cards, just makes me think of all the blue and white quilts. I think this is just beautiful. These are the ones you showed. No, I'm not, I don't have anything hidden. Um, be just because I didn't I didn't see see one of these, one of these, because I love this one too, but this is one of mine that didn't, oh, love didn't turn out. <laughs> on the original one is going to look really pretty, but I just I think these it. colors are just really pretty. You see, I didn't have enough glue and what happened when I was tucking the last one, they just slid. So that's what it is. The other way about doing this, you could glue securely a bunch of them and then leave the last two to kind of give you a little wriggle room that probably makes the most sense. But I think these again are just very stunning and gorgeous cards. And our challenge this week is to use um, this pattern and do something fun with it. And you can embellish them all differently. Did you find a finished one no, of that? I wanted to compare it with the one that was original. Are there, there aren't three over. Ooh, but <laughs> <laughs> everyone there dizzy, seasick, <laughs> just, just swung the camera. Um, I put them somewhere to make sure I cut the paper. I just, um, but anyway, uh, so, so goes life at the Titus's. So <laughs> Bo, thank you. <laughs> <For swimming. laughs> okay. I only says too that she made several years ago and she's got its back again. Yes, yeah, so it is. This is a regular card size in the background. And mm -hmm. then it has a five inch mm -hmm. five and a quarter by four inch layered. And our two larger square squares are two and five eighths inches. And I'll put them in the show notes right after this too. So you'll see right on top. I'll put that two measurements. And the little squares or one and a quarter. I would actually show something else while we're on here, Tim. I have another tip. The show notes kind of make you think we're at a Broadway show, <laughs> but. Uh, Tim, could I have you entertain everyone while I go get something to show another okay. tip? Watch us do a graceful exit here. Notice all the Easter baskets in the back from last week's show. Isn't that nice? And they are not filled with candy. I don't know if we're going to send our grandkids in Chicago or our local grandson Easter baskets. So we'll have to figure that out before it's too late, which is kind of getting late already. So, okay, we're going to switch sides. I wanted to just show something about when you're cutting your one and quarter inch strips. I know some of you have either, let's see, dies or punches, and they work really well. But if you're using a paper cutter, like I am, and I'm just going to use my little one because it's handy here, and I'm kind of a chop and dice kind of person. I am, 
I use a big chopper all the time. Of course, this would work with the other things too. Um, uh, oh, I should probably use the other kind. Actually, so probably. Big, let me see. Are you talking the big chopper that's in the other room? I have two choppers. You do. You have many choppers. <laughs> I'll do it on here. So let's say I'm going to make a bunch of these out of this. I'll put different DSP strips here together. And I could do three at a time on this, at least two. So I'm going to do an inch and a quarter, but I would be doing two. I'm not doing two here because I... I um, cannot think and do this at the same time. So we're going to pretend it's going through more than that. Um, <laughs> we're going to pretend. So then I have a bunch. So now I have my long strips. And then I'm going to, oh, look, I did a great job there. <laughs> and then you can put your strips together like this and then go through. Uh, and the reason I'm, there's a reason I'm showing this. We'll pretend this is one and a half, okay? <laughs> because you, what you don't want to do is take your paper and line up everything and do one and a quarter. It's hard to get it straight. And then you're going to go this way and do each one at one and a quarter. Does that make sense? So if you do your long strips and then keep narrowing it down by one and a quarter, this part stays a lot straighter. You cut your paper straighter and you're cutting several at one time. And I could have you know, three different DSPs here should be cutting for three cards. So if you're doing more than one card, I always think it's fun to just um, think about little tricks. So whether that made sense or not, but thanks. You switched. <laughs> have a wonderful weekend, everyone. And we'll see you back here on Monday. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Bye. I don't know. Can you do this part? Okay. <laughs> I have to reach across here. Bye.